I'm Doug Young, a contributing editor to Acoustic Guitar, and today I want to take a look at a set of new guitar mics from Bartlett, uh, a new company started by a pair of engineers who have a long history uh, designing microphones for Crown and Shure. There are three versions of the Bartlett mic. Uh, the mic capsule is the same in all three models, and the only difference is the way the mics are powered and the type of jack they provide, which affects how they're installed. Uh, the mic itself is a small omnidirectional condenser mic, which must be phantom powered. Bartlett says the mic has a frequency response of 80 to 20 kilohertz and can be powered by 12 to 48 volts. All three versions have a low-end roll-off filter that uh, helps reduce the boominess that we often get with internal guitar mics. The basic guitar mic has an XLR connector and the mic must be powered by a 48 volt phantom power source. So this is meant to be plugged into a mixer or a guitar amp that has uh, that type of connector. Uh, the mic is intended to be temporarily mounted to the guitar. The Guitar Mic Pro B has an onboard battery and works with a standard quarter inch guitar cord, although the jack itself is a little unusual with a self threading design and a slightly larger than normal size. The third model, the Guitar Mic Pro, is also meant for permanent installation with a similar end pin jack, but it also has the XLR to quarter inch adapter that allows the mic to be powered by a mixing board or amp that provides 48 volts. Let's take a look at the basic guitar mic. I'm plugged into the mic channel of an AER Acoustic Cube 2 combo amp, which provides the 48 volts of phantom power. To install the mic on the guitar, we use this little clip. And I simply slip the microphone into the little clip and slide the clip over the uh, sound hole, over the edge of the sound hole of the guitar. Bartlett recommends about an 8 o'clock position as a starting point, but you can adjust that to, uh, to change the tone. And you also, of course, have to deal with each individual guitar. That's about as close to 8 o'clock as I can get on this guitar without clipping the brace. Um, so then in addition, you can simply uh, loop the uh, cord over your strap if you have one, and it's held uh, pretty securely in place and out of the way. Let's, uh, let's hear how this mic sounds through the AER. I especially like the way this mic works with a nylon string guitar, and it offers a nice option for classical players that just need a bit of a boost to their sound. Let's hear how uh, the mic sounds with my Kenny Hill crossover nylon string guitar. So that's the Bartlett guitar mic, a new option for amplifying an acoustic guitar. Uh, you'll want to consider which of the mounting options would work best for you. The permanent solutions are more plug and play, but the basic guitar mic has the benefit of no modifications to your guitar and also being movable between guitars very easily. Uh, the mic sounds good alone, but you might also consider adding it to a guitar that already has another pickup and blending the two for more flexibility. You can read my full review in the May 2011 issue of Acoustic Guitar or here online at AcousticGuitar.com. For Acoustic Guitar, I'm Doug Young.